If I put on glasses, does it make what I'm about to tell you as a board certified OBGYN and fertility expert more believable? Okay, I've been seeing a lot of buzz about this new science advances paper that came out this year and this video that I just showed you uh, claiming that this proves that the female biological clock doesn't exist and I want to clear this up. First off, eggs are made of many different parts. At the core center, you have the nuclear DNA, and this is where our chromosomes live. And they are neatly packaged away by these proteins called cohesins. Think of the cohesins as the filing cabinet that keeps all of the chromosomes aligned and organized. Now, as we age, those filing cabinets, imagine you bought them from Ikea, they tend to fall apart over time. And this is why, as we get older, our eggs are more likely to contribute the wrong amount of DNA, the wrong number of chromosomes when they become an embryo. And this can increase the risk of implantation failure, miscarriage, and even certain syndromes like Down syndrome where there's three copies of chromosome 21. When we talk about egg quality declining as a woman ages, this is one of the primary things that we're talking about. How many chromosomes is it contributing to an embryo? Now, outside of the nucleus, there's another part of the egg called the mitochondria. These are the energy factories of the egg, and they have their own DNA. The Science Advances study was specifically looking only at the DNA of the mitochondria, and they found that the mitochondrial mutations don't really seem to increase in eggs as women age. And that's interesting sounds like good news, but it doesn't change the fact that the errors in nuclear DNA, the number of chromosomes, which is the big driver of age-related egg quality decline, infertility, and miscarriage, all of that still holds true. It still happens. So no, this study does not prove at all that women's eggs stay perfectly healthy forever. The biological clock is very real. And for the record, this paper wasn't even about sperm. But let's talk about it since this creator wanted to make the comparison. Here's the truth. Men make sperm for the rest of their lives. Every 74 days, a new sperm cell is generated, but they're not immune to aging either. Mutations tend to pile up and accumulate in the male germline, and they're able to then pass these mutations on to their children through sperm. And this is why we see a relationship between advanced paternal age and problems like autism, neurodevelopmental disorders, and even an increased risk of childhood cancers in the children of much older fathers. This doesn't mean every older dad is going to have a child with a medical problem, but there is an undeniable association. I hope that clears things up. The bottom line is misrepresenting science to give people false hope is just not cool, especially to women who deserve honesty and not clickbait. My advice is use a viral meme, use a funny trending audio, but don't give people false hope just because you want views.